let us pull our energy together and send it upward to the center of universe. Qi means intelligence, but more than intelligence, more than intelligence, it is wisdom. And wisdom is common sense. And wisdom is a true knowledge. It is my privilege to, to present to you uh, a very uh, practical session, a kind of uh, qigong uh, exercise also. I do not have the strength to share with you, like my cousin from China, the author Dr. Wang, but I do know how to help you to tap the most powerful energy of the world and of this physical universe. To take care of yourself, to face out pathology, to be back to health. This is a lot of claim. I am not claiming. I am telling you the truth. If we have any kind of heritage of legacy, it is our own. We were born to this planet Earth with our own program, emotional, characterial, and pathological. That's to say that we have been our own programmer from our past. So it's time now not to incriminate anyone except only one, ourselves. It is my deep belief that any problem whatsoever we have is our personal one. And we are the only one by ourselves and alone that we could resolve it. We are talking about the cause of the disease. But we are talking about also, we are thinking about also the deeper cause, the ultimate cause, the true cause of disease. So what is this deep, intimate cause of disease? Ourself. We do not have one life to live. Our life now, our present life is a continuum of space and time. So, and the phase of death and life is this a transitional. We are dying every minute. As a cell, we are aging every minute. And every minute there is death in ourselves. But from death, every minute, life arises from death. So it is a changing of energy. From mass, we move back to energy, and so on, and so on. So we are a wavelength. We begin, we begin our life with one deep, breath, inhalation, or inspiration. And then this, we, we keep going on with an exhalation, increase inspiration, exhalation, inspiration, and we will be terminating our life sometime in the future with one great deep expiration, and that's it. I would like today to be very instrumental, no, show you the how to keep ourselves healthy or back to health, and then to maintain our health. So I, I, cannot, I cannot talk to anyone on behalf of anyone. I can talk and share with you my personal and own experience. At my age now, I am clear of pathology. I do not have any pathology whatsoever. 
It is one reason to share you my belief, my deep conviction that because you have been our personal and own programmer, then we can reprogram ourselves for the present time and for the future. It is a possibility. It is a possibility when it, there is a will. Because when there is a will, there is all the time a way. And also, one, another thing I would like to share with you. This is belong to my system of belief too. Whatsoever problem we are having, know, please know, that in the problem itself, there is already a solution. The solution is there. It's up to us to discover it. Just like our scientists do, what they are doing, they are rediscovering certain laws of nature. We don't discover anything. We are learning. And you are on seekers of truth. And this is the most beautiful assignment we are given to in this planet Earth and in this body, in this space. We know exactly what we have to do. Well, so now I am going to be very intru instrumental and share with you something very practical. Along with the practice, I will be, I will be explain to you the reason why, the rationale behind this each exercise, so that you can understand. Because when we understand, we are more convinced, and we are more willing to work upon it. Close your mouth, smiling. Curl up the tip of your tongue as the most powerful biological needle, acupuncture, and apply it gently behind your upper gums on the palate. And now close your eyes. Imagine from now on that you are seeing from your spiritual eye, located in between your eyebrows. Say to yourself, from now on, I will see from my eye of wisdom, from my eye of spirit, from my spiritual eye, which would be helping me to see the reality of the world and of universe. And hopefully I will not be bowed to the physical and physiological senses so that I can develop a higher level of consciousness beyond the sensorial consciousness and the sensual consciousness. And now face our thoughts and even feelings of yourself, of your temporary housing temporary house, temporary temple we call our body. It's the time now to enjoy the present time, to forget the past, to forget the future. Just enjoy what you are doing now and let us be reconnected with our true self, which is located at the very center of universe and at the very center of our small world. Right in the middle of our brain. And let us emanate our good vibrations upward from the top of our head, from the pathway point. Let us emanate the best of ourselves upward to go back 
two hour regime to go back home just for a few, few more minutes. So just let ourselves go and enjoy it. And while you let yourself go in complete, complete the serenity, complete the confidence, I will be invocating loudly the six sounds of creation for you to follow silently, mentally, and actively. Silently, you see, mentally, actively, from the top of your head. So let us pull our energy together and send it upward to the center of the universe. You will see that we will be forming a very, very powerful electromagnetic field which could mend all the other negative fields in this environment. So please let yourself go and let's God. You may join your two hands together in the form of the flower of lotus and apply them on your heart chakra. It is another way to emanate our vibrations upward, coming from our body. It is another way to purify our five energies, the energy of element air or metal or gold, the energy of element water, the energy of element wood, the energy of element fire, and the energy of element earth, represented in our body by our lung system, our kidney system, our hormonal system, bowed to the kidney system, our liver, our heart, our cardiovascular system, and finally, our spleen the factory of our antibodies and the headquarters of our immunological defense system. Let us, uh, let us go and let's go. Nam Mo Wa Zi Da Fat Nam Mo Wa Zi Da Fat Nam Mo God is the source of light and the source of love. We are a sparkle of this light and we are also a source of light and of love. We should emanate light and love from ourselves, meaning from our small world, which is the exact, the duplicate image of the greater world at large. So this is the principle of prayer, silent prayer, and permanent prayer. We pray on the time, 24 hours upon 24 hours. How we are taught on the time to practice this kind of special prayer. But we have never been taught how to do it. And now you know the technique, more than that the technology. We pray in wherever we are, whatsoever you are doing, and we have only to keep ourselves straight. We stand in the elevator, we stand straight. We drive, we stand straight. Straight, uh, straight means what? Means we keep our vertebral column straight. The lumbar curvature natural. And this is a beautiful teaching of chiropractic. And also we pray in silence, in privacy, cooking but we know what you are doing. We are reconnecting ourselves all the time, permanently, 
second after second, minutes after minutes, with our true source. And it is the best way, believe me, to tap the most powerful energy of the world and of universe. It never fails. It is when, when we ask, when you knock at the door, this door open. And now we know how to knock at the spiritual door of universe. This door has been closed to us for us to relearn the process of coming back to our origin. So what you are doing here in this life, in this planet Earth, is to learn how to go back home. And what we are doing here? We are doing here to regain the quality of ourselves before. In the Orient, in Asia, in general, the golden age is on the time, the past. The past is not just the past of history. The past is the past of the whole universe. And this is the golden age. We have to become golden again. If you have a positive thinking from your mind, you see, then you can develop your immunology. So positive thinking here, and at this level, positive emotion, positive thought, and good spirit, and we start from here. So I, I put this in. Everything is good, meaning our heart is good. And our heart is good when it is lifted upward. And then we pass through our heart, our emotional heart, very dense, very emotional, and going downward, you see? There we are, have two directions. With the positive, I am talking now about the Western psychosis neuroimmunology. If you have a good emotions, positive emotions, good feeling, positive feeling, and a good spirit, we can change the immunology. Change the immunology means we are here five-fold. We are lung, we are kidney system, we are liver system, we are heart system, we are spleen system. So the pathway is here, this, you see. And we arrive at the level of the spleen. So this is the pathway, psycho, neuro, because neuro, because the pathway is a, the nervous pathway and immunology. Because the pathologist has found antibodies bound to the nervous cell in the spleen. And the pathway is from the nervous system, the central nervous system. Start from the brain, everything positive, and via the neural pathway, the neurological pathway, and to rebuild the immunology at the level of the spleen. This is Western status of art in immunology. And the square, you see, it is our common denominator. We are formed with the four elements. Element metal is here. Element, element metal, element water, element fire, element earth. It is a common denominator to things and beings. These are things and ourselves, because we are things also. We are form of the four elements. But when we are, when we stand, when we stand in this square representing the world of matter, where is our center? For the one who, among, uh, among you or who, I pick this diagram from the drawing of Leonardo da Vinci. The man is standing in the square and in the, the circle. But you are there standing in the square. We are standing in the square, meaning we are 
standing in the material world. And when we are in the material world, we have to reproduce ourselves materially. You have to get married, you have to have children, you have to have progeniture to, for the continuation of the species. So we are, our responsibility is to reproduce ourselves, to give more people to the world. Because when after, after we're gone, we'll be continued by our children, grandchildren, and so on. So when we are standing in this world, our center, the center of ourselves is the organ of reproduction. The four elements of, uh, of uh, the material world is element metal or air, condensation of energy, element water, condensation of mass, element fire, diffusion of energy, and element earth, balance between energy and mass, you see, and the added element is here, when we become a being, and this is a common denominator for beings, animal and human, it is the vegetation wood. So we see, we are now becoming heirs in the, in the, the path of evolution, and evolution is on the time evolution from materiality towards spirituality. And as a human being, we have, if you would like to be more than human in the future, superman if you like, we have to transcend our materiality more and more and gradually into spiritual, spirituality. It's not overnight. Time is a matter of organization. I will share you the secret. You can practice every day without skipping a day, at least one hour. One hour. And it is not a matter of cheating on time, you know. But it is a very, very good and honest technique, process. We can save our time every day and every time we want to. We have a lot of time wasted and lost and you have to recuperate it. And lost time, you know, time is energy. Space is matter, you see? Time is young, and space is in. And you have lost time, we lost, we lost energy. So we have to recuperate time to have more energy. And let time work for us, meaning we have to organize our time and to become more patient, more patient. Patient, to be a patient is to suffer, from the Latin patere, patere is suffer. And to have a lot, to have a patience, believe me, it is another process of suffering. You have to sacrifice yourself. And sacrifice is very painful, but it is a good pain. It is a redemption pain. It is redeeming pain. And this pain, will be replacing all the pains. Because nature is made such way that we have only one pain at one time. You see? So I prefer you to have this pain in the form of patience. Enjoy this pain. It is a redeeming pain and a healing pain. So I will be asking you to spend time, but I know but I know that you don't have time, so I will give you a secret. To have a time on the time, and then you do not have any excuse whatsoever. Okay? So we, we start now from, from here. And these are five elements. You see, there are two pathways for these five elements. This is a generating way of energy, and this is a degenerating way of energy and the way of health and the way of pathology. Okay, so we are facing south. We are now closing our mouth, the tip of our tongue behind our gums, 
and you are going to emanate silently from the top of our head the silent sound. I pronounce the sound loudly for you to follow mentally, actively, not passively, and silently. So let us ourselves go, enjoy it. And watch my two, my two hands, flexible. Be completely silent and enjoy yourself. And preserve your energy. And when you raise your hands, you inhale. Another thing, it is complicated, but remember, I do not, uh, to, to, um, I would like to render things easy for you. But the principle of inhalation, when you inhale, we badly out, our navel out, you see? Out, inhalation. Inhale, exhale, belly in, the navel in. But it is too complicated. Remember that when you practice at home. When you inhale like this, you belly out. When you exhale, you belly in. The navel is the center. Okay? So now, please let wash my hands carefully and wash my knees carefully also. When we exhale, we stoop. We stoop to conquer. See? So let's, let our sound go. Nam. Inhale deeply, wash my hands. I am holding the whole universe in my hands. I exhale. I am washing away all my sorrow. Mo. Exhale fully. Enjoy your breath. Um, keep emanating the sounds from the top of your head with me. Z. Exhale fully. Da. But how do you like it? Would you like to do it one, one more round? Very good. Nam. Mo. Okay, please be seated. We are changing the electromagnetic field of this room. This element water, air, condensation of energy, there is a negative emotion behind it. And this negative emotion is nothing else than grief, sadness, and sorrow. And you have to phase out this negative feeling to be healthy. Why it is correlated with sorrow? The attitude of sorrow, of sadness and grief, is just this. You see? Cheese, and we do not smile. Like this. See? So it just reverses the attitude. And reversing the attitude is not only physical, but also emotional, moral and spiritual. We work at a level, a level. So why we are doing this? We are meditating on one of the major virtues taught by Confucius. You have here a Chinese character meaning gratitude or meaningful. So this virtue 
because the Tao, the path, have a way to realize it, and it is a practice of certain set of virtues. And this set of virtues is called by Confucius the permanent virtue, not the cardinal virtue, but the permanent virtue. Meaning we have to go with these virtues wherever you go, we do. You see? We cannot leave them home. We carry them with us. So this is the way to practice gratitude. Instead of sighing out, showing our ungratitude to our, to our mother nature. We feel, when we feel sorrow, that, is, that it is the, the best time for us to grow, to understand our problem, and to resolve it. And instead of feeling sorrowful, we just stand up and take a few deep breaths, and we meditate. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Father, for giving me this breath of life. Which is a clear product of your true love to me. Which is enlighten me every minute, every second of my life. I thank you, Mother. I thank you, Father, for taking care of me, for nurturing me from my physical birth till my physical death of your true love, true light, manifested in this invisible molecule of oxygen, which is charged electrically. When I inhale this chemical molecule of oxygen, I feel enlightened. I feel loved. I feel blessed. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Father. And please excuse me for feeling sorrowful, grievous, and sad because I did not understand that it is the way you teach me to grow and to come back home with you ultimately. After having accomplishing all what I have to do in this body and in, on this planet Earth. Thank you. Thank you. I feel blessed. <laughs>